Now, two announcements from Russia have unnerved the West. First, Russian President Vladimir Putin says Moscow has conducted the final successful test of a nuclear-powered cruise missile. And second, Russia says it will revoke its ratification of the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. Now, in the next two minutes, we'll take a look on both of these announcements. First, on the nuclear missile. Vladimir Putin announced the final successful test of an experimental missile powered by nuclear reactor, first announced in 2018. The Burvestnik missile has been hailed as having a potentially unlimited range. Now, the missile, which NATO calls Skyfall, is also capable of carrying a nuclear warhead. Not much is known about the weapon from official channels, but President Putin called it a global-range nuclear-powered cruise missile. It means that the missile could strike anywhere in the United States. The ground-launched missile's nuclear reactor is supposed to activate after solid-fuel rocket boosters have launched it into the air. The missile is also said to fly at a very low altitude of merely 50 to 100 meters, making it impossible to detect by radars and air defense systems. Putin also announced that work is almost complete on an intercontinental ballistic missile called Sarmat. However, Putin maintained that there are no plans to launch a nuclear strike. He said that the existence of the Russian state was not under threat. Now to the nuclear treaty. Russia's envoy to the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization said Moscow will revoke its ratification of the pact signed in the year 2000. Russia says the aim is to be on equal footing with the United States, who signed the treaty but didn't ratify it, adding that revocation doesn't mean the intention to resume nuclear test. Now, the CTBT has been signed by 187 countries and ratified by 178. The treaty bans all nuclear explosions, whether for military or peaceful purposes. But it cannot go into force until eight specific holdout signs hold out sign and ratify it. China, Egypt, Iran and Israel have signed but have not ratified it. North Korea, India and Pakistan have not signed the pact. And the United States, however, has signed the pact but did not ratify the treaty. But nonetheless, it expressed its displeasure on Russia's announcement of reversing the revocation. U.S. State Department spokesperson said Russia's announcement needlessly endangers the global norm against nuclear explosive testing. 